The demolition of buildings for Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road begins today. It is commonly said that gold comes with its own price. Hundreds of homes will serve as a price to the building for the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road. Emotional, damn it! Everything here is going. The federal government has announced that the demolition of buildings situated within the right of way of the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road will commence this Saturday. The coast belongs to the federal government. By reason of the act of the federal government and the latest Supreme Court judgment that says from the shoreline to 250 meters backwards, the Minister of Works will pay compensation. Uh, the President has directed me to pay compensation. We are not paying compensation on the shanties. And so we will engage one-on-one -on -one to review and document, and there will be a written, you know, uh, agreement. And then if we clear, you know, you, for example, within uh, 72 hours, you will get your check. And as the first kilometer of the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road commences from the Eco Atlantic City Victoria Island through Jack on the axis of Lagos State and across nine other states to end at Coast River with railway in the middle. And if today is your first time seeing my video, kindly subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification button so that when new video comes out, you'll be the first to be informed. But first, let's talk about the genesis of this 15 trillion naira. Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road that is in progress. The Lagos Calabar Coastal Road project was initiated more than a decade ago in order to cut down the hours spent on the road from Lagos to the Niger Delta axis of Nigeria. But the good news is that Mr. President has approved that there should be what is called a coastal road. This coastal road is going to run all the way from Port, Port, from Port Harcourt, crossing many, many cities, north, south, west, central, and then end in Lagos. It's called Coastal uh, Routes, Coastal Superhighway. According to the Federal Controller of Works in Lagos State, Korede Keisha, during a press briefing, has urged all residents whose houses have been earmarked for demolition to visit the ministry's secretariat in Lagos to address any necessary procedures required by the ministry and she concluded that the demolition team would commence the removal of the marked properties today saturday as the road progresses it is important to know that this road is concrete and not bitumen and will also be on a five lane and so far one kilometer out of the seven kilometer has been constructed the lagos calabar coastal road will be one of the best projects when completed. In fact, the cost has caused widespread uproar. However, considering the materials in use, the cost and the quality of the road provided once it's completed, this road indeed will be awesome. The coastal road will connect Calabar directly to a port in Lagos. It means shorter travel time than what we currently have for imported goods to get there and other town along the route. When this is finally done, this is a game changer for Nigeria. Of course. Many Nigerians have urged the federal government to stick to the original plan, especially when it almost tampered with landmark projects and on some ancestral villages. This mega project will definitely affect so many homes. But at the end, it is a game changer for Nigeria. And should in case you need a landed property, or house that is free from government acquisition or demolition along the coastal lane in when Lagos, Nigeria. Can you reach out to me on this property? That's the one and only you to try to do. And my job is to give you two super when it comes to real estate itself. Imagine waking up early in the morning, seeing a beautiful sight like this from your window. That's exactly what I want to show you today. Let me show you where we have our newest wonderful location just by this same sea view itself. Let me show you around. Alright, so let me show you around. 